All right, guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about the PlayStation 5. More specifically, we're going to be talking about the PS5's SSD and how, according to one developer who is working on a PS5 console exclusive Godfall, is exceptionally powerful. Now, I came across this information from an article here that's titled, PS5's SSD is exceptionally powerful, may beat Xbox Series X speeds. So a very interesting title there, maybe um, a little too interesting, because it's trying to create this idea that the PS5's SSD is essentially going to be better than the one that will be in the Xbox Series X. Now, I don't want to go too deep on that because we don't know. All of it is speculative, and there's actually a little bit of speculation that is done in this article. However, the individual who wrote up this article does give us a lot of interesting details that if you do pay attention to them, you start to realize that whatever Sony is cooking up with their proprietary SSD here is going to be something absolutely insane. And that's the part I want to focus on is just how insane this SSD is going to be and what it's going to do for next generation games. Because you can rest assured that whoever has the edge in terms of SSD technology with the next gen consoles, it'll definitely be a good thing to have, but I think they're going to be very similar. Uh, you know, that being the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. But let's do a little bit of reading here. It says that the devs behind the first revealed PlayStation 5 game hype up the console's SSD, teasing an ultra-powerful solution that allows for massive freedom for developers. With the new NMVE SSD tech found in next-gen consoles, developers can absolutely obliterate loading screens and push a new level of detail, immersion, and performance in their game worlds. Both the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5's Navi and Zen 2 SoC are tailor-made to synergize with the SSD, much the same way their new desktop CPUs harness the might of PCIe 4.0 SSDs, leading to the new era of gaming. Games will load faster, gameplay itself will be much more responsive, and the experience will be dramatically changed as the game renders more seamlessly as you move through it. The idea is the SSD will massively accelerate the data transfer rate from the storage to the CPU, GPU, and RAM, while also allowing for nifty tricks like VRAM buffering. Both Sony and Microsoft have touted their respective SSD solutions, but developers are chiming in too. The devs behind Godfall, the first revealed PlayStation 5 exclusive, say they're impressed by the console's exceptionally powerful SSD. The exceptionally powerful SSD on the PlayStation 5 offers a new level of detail for each individual object as well as seamless loading of our expansive world, Godfall creative director Keith Lee told PlayStation Lifestyle. Our combat is... Uh, kinesthetic in nature, kinesthetic in nature, so the new controller's adaptive triggers and haptic feedback will make moment to moment combat feel exhilarating and visceral. Bear in mind, Gearbox is publishing the game, so Counterplay might not have exactly chosen to make the game for PS5. Gearbox could have negotiated a deal with Sony, but it's clear Counterplay has had a Prospero box, the Sony PS5 dev kit, all this time. The part about seamless gaming resonates strongly with what other devs have said about the next-gen console storage. Godfall is a drop-in, drop-out co-op action game with a bent towards online play. You'll be able to team up with buds and roam around an online world to collect loot and hack and slash enemies. This kind of game will benefit most from the SSD. Here's what Microsoft devs have said about the Xbox Series X SSD. The combination of the SoC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all that power and apply all of that back into the scene and generate more life into the world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So what makes the SSD so special? How fast will it really be? Sony showed a prototype console loading Spider-Man in just 0.8 seconds, which is blazing fast, but we still don't know specifics. We're also not sure if the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X will use newer and more expensive PCIe 4.0 SSDs or not. Goes on to say, consumer versions of PCIe 4.0 solid state drives hit a peak of around 5 gigabytes per second slash write reads, but these are roughly $200 a pop. This could be overkill for the PlayStation 5, but Mark Cerny did say the PS5's SSD has a raw bandwidth that's higher than any available PC SSD. 
The PS5's SSD secret sauce and main advantage over the Xbox Series X might lie with Sony's proprietary RE RAM or RE-RAM storage technology. RE RAM is made specifically as an SCM or storage class memory that's specifically designed for the enterprise market. RE RAM is more efficient and requires less power than DRAM and can be stacked with 3D crosspoint arrays, which is the same kind of memory used in Intel's Optane tech. The idea here is that Sony would use a small amount of RE RAM on the PS5's motherboard to accelerate the SSD. The RE RAM module would cache the most used data and store it, beaming it directly to the CPU and GPU for processing. All of this would be complemented by a specialized layer of software to give developers granular access to data blocks for their games. Again, no one knows for sure what or how the new SSDs will work. Whatever the hardware solution turns out to be will have tons of tool sets and software devs will use to manipulate their games and perform some magical feats. So yeah, I know that that was a ton of reading there and a lot of uh, very technical stuff that I'm honestly not 100% familiar with, but I know for a fact that some of you listening to this understood every single thing that was said there. But what's most interesting about everything we read right there is how the writer of this article is going very deep, taking a very deep dive into the tech side of things to explain just how Sony would manage to create a more powerful or faster SSD than what we would see with the Xbox Series X. The one thing that gets me truly excited about hearing all of this, about hearing developers talk about the next-gen consoles is how seamless things are going to be according to these developers and what they're gonna be able to achieve with this SSD technology. I'm starting to think that these SSDs, when it comes to the next-gen consoles, such as the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, are gonna be a much bigger deal than I think many of us may realize. And it is worth noting that what they pointed out here, talking about Mark Cerny saying that what the PlayStation 5 SSD is going to be capable of is not something you currently see on the market. That has me very excited. Something tells me that we are going to see something truly special and uh, insane, honestly, with the SSD tech that we're going to see in the PS5. Now, Something else that's worth noting here is talking about the Godfall developer. We have to understand that these are developers who have been working with the PS5 dev kit for probably quite some time here. And when they use words such as exceptionally powerful, well, you have to really hone in on that and think, well, what does that mean? Well, saying that it's exceptionally powerful basically makes it sound like whatever Sony's using in the PS5 tech-wise with the SSD is going to stand above everything. It's going to stand above the rest right now. It's going to make it exceptional. So the big question that a lot of people are going to be left with is, well, first of all, is this really going to make that big of a difference in your games? And honestly, yes. You know, cutting through all the tech talk here, I think the article you know, writer put it very well where they essentially said that what you're going to see in your games is things are just going to load in so much more seamlessly. Developers are going to be able to do things in game worlds that just weren't possible before at speeds that they just couldn't achieve before. And so on our side, on the gamer side, we're going to see a ton of benefits with, with this SSD tech next generation. But another question that people have is, you know, could could Sony really find a way to make their SSD better than what Microsoft's going to have in the Xbox Series X? And I think the answer to that question is, yeah, they very well could. We don't know. A lot of this stuff is still just speculation. Granted, this individual is really diving deep here to try to uh, figure out, you know, just exactly how Sony or even Microsoft, because Microsoft could do the exact same thing. But, you know, they did mention uh, proprietary tech here. What was, I think, the... Uh, the re-RAM or the RE RAM, I guess is how you would say it, and how that's essentially something that the PlayStation 5 is going to utilize to ensure that their SSD is not going to be touched by anything else. So it's going to be very interesting, guys. I know that this isn't the biggest of information or the biggest news regarding the PlayStation 5. We know that that is going to be reserved for 2020, but I think that it's still important to kind of highlight just how significant the SSD is going to be and how vital of a role it's going to play 
within next gen games and what we're going to see the difference we're going to see i should say in next gen games and according to this article here uh, not only is the godfall developer saying that it's exceptionally powerful and it's going to really benefit them greatly especially with the type of game they're making but we have this individual here who is really uh, kind of going into all of the details explaining why it just might be a situation where Sony has the edge with their SSD tech. If there's one thing I can say here at the end to kind of back some of this up is that I can tell you that based off of what I've been reading and what I've been looking into, it sounds to me like Sony is making sure that no matter what happens, they are absolutely not going to allow any of this info about any of the details I should say about their SSD to leak. They are making sure that out of everything that could potentially leak, that is something that will not leak because they will end whoever leaks it. And it sounds like it's a very serious thing. It's something that's on complete lockdown. And it does kind of make you think, well, maybe there's a reason for that. So that does it for the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. What do you think about what this Godfall developer is saying about Sony's PS5 SSD being exceptionally powerful? What do you think about all of the details that we went over here explaining why or how the PS5 could actually end up beat out the Xbox Series X in terms of it's SSD tech. I will be very interested to hear what you guys have to say. Be sure to leave the video a like if you did enjoy it, if you found it informative, or if you're just excited about all of the next gen console talk. Really helps it out. Let's me know you guys enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload and feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.